Breaking news today, the incredible scene. We were all on edge right after noon today, praying, hoping, watching as a semi-truck crashes and hangs right off the side of the 95-year-old Clark Memorial Bridge. The driver, a woman, still in the cab, looking right down at the freezing waters of the Ohio River. But to the rescue, the Louisville Fire Department in three minutes. Just take a look at this angle of the rescue from the top of the bridge. It's incredible. And in under an hour, a firefighter swings over and off a crane and pulls the driver to safety. All again under an hour, about 40 minutes, they said. A disaster averted. And now there are some questions about what happens with the bridge. Hello, everybody. I'm Connie Leonard in for Shea tonight. And I'm Doug Prophet. And right now on your screen, you're mm -hmm. looking live at the Clark Memorial as crews have cranes getting ready to pull the semi back onto the bridge. Let's take a closer look at it now. Mm -hmm. Go full with the screen there. And uh, Connie, as we just watched that live news conference from a moment ago, you carried here at 4 o'clock. The bridge engineer from the state went out of his way to say he believes the bridge is safe, but you have to wonder with the weight and the pressure, I mean, that, that is a heavy semi and it really pushed down the concrete. As you see there, the railing is broken. Uh, it's definitely concerning. I'm also, it, what's a little concerning is just the danger that has to be involved right now of pulling that semi back up onto the bridge, Doug. As the uh, engineer, Jim Ballinger with Kentucky Highway Transportation just said, they're not going to even be able to start assessing the bridge until this uh, effort here uh, that is pulling the semi back up onto the concrete and getting it out of there until that is completed. Again, it's going to be a slow process, but we're keeping an eye on it for you and we'll continue to show you live pictures here during our five o'clock news. All right, and we have team coverage of today's miracle rescue. Uh, two crews that have been watching this all play out. We begin with WHAS 11's Jose Alonzo, who was on the scene just after noon today. And Jose, you were there on the bank of the river watching all this unfold. Connie, that's why I've been watching this since earlier this afternoon. There were a lot of nerves and a lot of people watching the rescue go underway. And let's just look from our angle right now. You can still see the semi truck still kind of hanging off the bridge there. They did bring a crane onto the bridge and they were able to get the trailer onto the bridge as well. But it looks like that front part of the semi is still hanging earlier. LFD did give us more details on how exactly things went down and we're able to hear from the firefighter himself who took on the harness and was able to save that driver. She was just praying. She was praying a lot. So uh, and I prayed with her during the run. Uh, it just second nature. Your training takes over. Like I said, we've done it 100 times. So uh, you just think about everything slows down and you think about what needs to be done. Firefighter Bryce Carden was the man hanging off the bridge, rescuing a woman out of a semi truck after a collision with several other vehicles caused this to happen. She was thanking, you know, thank God. That's what she kept saying. Thank God. And I, I told her, I said, just take a deep breath. And then here's what I need you to do, because I need her to assist in you know, move in certain ways to be able to get the harness on right. An entire team of 30 firefighters assessing the scene to help make this a successful rescue. It was, it was a team effort without everybody doing their job. We wouldn't be able to have a successful rescue. It's extremely lucky. Uh, not so much that it would detach from the trailer, but just that the entire truck didn't go into the river. This is a once in a career type of thing. Unless uh, somebody here has done this many times. <laughs> no, <laughs> this is extremely unique. And again, this is quite a unique situation. As we can see, that crane and the crews are still there. Not as many crews as earlier, but still, I can see a lot of heads over there. And LMPD did tell us that they do not have an estimated time on when exactly the bridge will reopen. Of course, we just hit that 5 o'clock hour. People are getting out of work. So if you're needing to cross the Ohio, make sure you find a different route. And LFD did also tell us more details on how exactly the rescue went down. Of course, these weather conditions are not ideal. It's cold, it's wet, it's slick. But they said that did not stop them from rescuing that driver. Reporting live in Louisville, I'm Jose Alonso, WHS 11, on your side.